YouTube. As you might be able to see, we got some rain in the schedule. So we're gonna do the perfect rainy day activity, which is going to a museum. But we're not going to just any museum today. We are going to the Museum of Anthropology, the biggest museum in Mexico City. So we got a lot to see, so let's get going. That actually says Museo Nacional de Anthropology. But I think they need to paint the letters because you can barely see it. Wow, there's a lot of museums. That's the one we're going to. So I had some food before I got here, but as you can see, there are a lot of food options, a lot of people selling things. Ooh, churros. There is some kind of performance going on. Okay, so we're about to go inside, but before we do, I know that the eagle and the serpent is very important to Mexico. I know it's on the coins, I see it outside the museum. But the only explanation on this piece of art is in Spanish, so I can't fully understand what it means. So yeah, if anyone with a good understanding of that story could leave it in the comments, I'd love to know more about the meaning behind the, uh, the eagle and the snake. Okay, so we just walked through the entrance to the museum. This is the first thing we see, this is so cool. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that was section number one, introduction to anthropology. There are 22 different sections, 22 different areas to this museum. Number two, populating the Americas. This one actually goes outside. Pretty cool. I gotta say, the building itself. I mean, the stuff inside here is awesome, but the building itself is incredible. Every room is just something completely different. I mean, check this out behind me. How cool is this? So we've been here about an hour so far. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the museum? It's huge. Hmm. Uh, yeah, there's so many objects to see. <laughs> So it's about 2.30, we've been here about two hours, um, and we just asked if we were allowed to leave and come back. They said yes, as long as we have our tickets. So we're going to get some quick food and then, yeah, check out the museum a bit later. What should we get to eat? Uh, it's a hot dog. Hot dogs? Mm. Alright, let's see. Ooh. What is going on over here? 
No way. Look at this. Look at this, huh? Yeah. It's so high. So when I'm at a museum, I personally hit a point where I feel kind of overwhelmed and I feel like I can't take in any more information because I've seen so much. And when that happens to me, I like to just slow down a bit and instead of just trying to see everything, trying to really focus in on a few specific things and say, what was it like when the artist made this? What was it like to have lived through this time period? Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't, do you guys experience that too? So guys, that was it. The National Museum of Anthropology. Uh, I highly recommend this place to anyone who's interested in Mexican history, in learning about the different indigenous groups that have um, lived here over the years because there have been a lot. As always guys, I'm Dan from The New Travel. See you next time. Mm -hmm.